Hello internet, welcome back to our shield shader. It has, it's been a while. Uh, so this shield shader is going to, well, in this video we are going to make it kind of a, a combination of two things that we've already built. Uh, so I have the shield running right now. This is, this is what, where we were with that. I want to overlay or use the refraction shader that we built previously and kind of overlay the two effects. So we get the, the pulses from this on top of it, but we can see through it and we can actually distort it. Uh, and then we'll, we'll work to bring the actual distortions into uh, the, the rings moving out, but that will come, that will come later. So that's what we're going to be working on today. So let's start by grabbing a, well, I guess here are the two shaders we're going to be using. This is our refraction shader right here. And then the other one is our simple shield shader. So we need to take one of these and move it to the other one. I'm actually going to keep the simple shield shader and move everything here over to our refraction shader. And the reason we're doing it that way is because then we'll have one that it will have a shield that is refractive and one that isn't. And then we can kind of develop those in parallel and have two different ones. So we get two different effects. So that that's where we're going with this. Let's start just grabbing some of our uh, arguments. So I'm just going to grab the emissive uh, value, which is just the sum of the emissiveness at that location. And then we're going to take this object position and all of these, all of this math. So summing all of the points, we're taking all of that math and bringing it over here. And then that should be pretty much everything actually for, for this. We can really just grab that as well and assign it to the emission and i think i think we're good uh there's nothing that nothing else really complicated going on here and there's nothing that's going to stop that from working with a grab pass the grab pass just it is just another thing it's we're just using that to grab the color so that shouldn't affect really anything uh so now that we have that I'm going to need to actually grab some of these things. So we have the point size, the impact size, and all this other math stuff. So we're going to pull in all of these extra variables. Uh, don't need the color because that's already specified. We've got impact size, point color, point size, and points. So we're going to need to grab those from up here. Uh, we're only using the impact size and point color passed in. Everything else comes in from our scripts. So if I just set those here, drop the main texture that I brought over as well. And then that should be it, I think. We shouldn't need to do anything else. We've got uh, all of that. It should be fine. Do we need our world position? We might. Yeah. Input the uh, world position. We're going to grab that. And we'll just add that to our input variables in our new function. Were we using the main texture UV? I don't think we were. And if we weren't, cool then this should be everything. We should be done already. Or I broke it. <laughs> what have I done? Ah, we need to grab the the world position out of this now. Object to uh, the clip position. Because uh, because we have a vertex shader now, we these input variables aren't going to get set. We have to set them because our vertex shader here is actually what, that's how those get set. So we need to do out.worldposition equals, I don't think this is right, but we're just gonna say pose. <laughs> and so now that we have that, 
There we go. We now have this thing. It's the same refraction. You shouldn't see any difference because we haven't pointed any of this other stuff at this material yet. So if I start doing this, now we start seeing all those uh, explosions on the outside of it. One thing you will note, <laughs> it doesn't draw it on the back uh, because it, even though it's a it's a sphere, it's a grab pass. So there's still only the front that is getting drawn. And because of that, you won't see these marks on the back. So you won't see it wrap around. And that's just going to be a limitation with using grab passes. If we use if we get rid of refraction and just use transparency, that doesn't that goes away. That's not an issue anymore. And then we can we can turn off the the culling and it just works. Uh, but for this, it it isn't it isn't gonna work. So at least I don't I don't I can't think of a way to make it work. If you if you can <laughs> let me know. But uh, yeah, this is this is I mean basic. But at the same time, now we have explosions that are happening on this, which is neat, I guess. So there you go. Simple. And I guess easy, but uh, that that's sort of the point here. So I'm going to I'm going to leave this here, I guess, because <laughs> that that's really all all I wanted to do. I need to we need to come up with a way now where we can take uh, if I can just pause this when one of these explodes. There's a center point where it explodes from, and then it kind of grows out from that. What we need to be able to do is calculate that point and then sort of grow it ourselves uh, and that's going to be hard uh, we need to be able to to get a vector out of that so we can add a, a normal so that we can deform our uh, map and so so fit once we figure that out then we can start doing all the the deformations and stuff and then we should be good to get a, a more complicated shield but this way we at least get refractions uh, don't do this if you if you just want transparency. This isn't how you get that. Uh, it's a lot a lot easier actually. But anyway, this is a simple I guess refractive uh, array based sh shader. Uh, it, it's moving towards the shield thing, but we're still we're still not quite where I want to be. So we'll be working there soon. So. That's it for this video. Uh, yeah, I will be picking up and doing a lot more. I have a lot of really fun, fun plans for 2018. Uh, 2017 kind of ended with just me being sick and then it being less fun. But I'm, I'm getting over it, even though you can kind of probably hear a little bit in my voice that I'm not quite over it yet. Uh, but yeah, once that's over, we are going to do some really cool stuff. I've got some cool projects, uh, some new ideas, and I think we're gonna we're gonna have some fun. So yeah, if you guys have suggestions for me or anything you think we should try, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. So till then, see internet.